Is this really happening in Nigeria? Can this happen in our lifetime? Are we ever going to have petroleum products refined here in Nigeria? These are some questions that constantly bug the mind. Well, answers are beginning to emerge from the soil of this country. Let me introduce you to the latest brand new refinery in Nigeria. Yes, refinery. A Nigerian company owned by Nigerian, operated by Nigerians, and that's Walter Smith Refining and Petrochemical Company Limited has brought guests, industry captains, bankers, traditional rulers, regulators, and even the president who joins virtually to celebrate this milestone. The first modular refinery in Ibikwe or Haji Egbema Imo State. The combined products expected at full capacity will include premium motor spirit, PMS, and LPG and jet fuel, in addition to the existing products mentioned above, contributing about 2.7 billion liters of products per annum. This represents 10% of total refined products consumption in Nigeria and significant foreign exchange savings for the nation as well as job creation for thousands of our people. We have taken 200 candidates and we are shortlisting 80 of them for the first phase, not to train them as welders or you know, artisans, but to train them as engineers, operations, maintenance and refinery engineers. Walter Smith obtained license to establish in June 2015. Authority to construct in March 2017. Signed an EPC contract in June 2018. Commenced construction of the modular refinery in October 2018 and is being delivered in less than 24 months. The president sure feels fulfilled about this achievement in his time that he had to make this pronouncement. I'm directing the Ministry of Petroleum Resources, Department of Petroleum Resources, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, as well as all relevant government agencies to provide Walter Smith Refining and Petrochemical Company all the necessary support with regards to access to crude oil and condensate feedstock for the timely delivery of the additional capacity. It's the unveiling of the first modular refinery, but also the groundbreaking for an expansion from 5,000 barrels a day capacity to accommodate additional 45,000 barrels daily production. You don't have to do pipelines to export in your, 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 your crude oil. Uh, this, uh, this form of development is to be able to create a, a hub and then build the refinery, create the facilities here, create businesses within the facility. This is actually the way to go, and we are quite happy uh, with what uh, Walter Smith is doing. I want to urge other operators or license holders to go and make real the licenses issued to them by government. But for now, let me concentrate on what I have seen that is working. In 2018, President Buhari rolled out a refinery roadmap to include the rehabilitation of existing refineries, co-location of new refineries, construction of greenfield refineries, and deployment of modular refineries.